Marion Salzman is a trend spotter for marketing and communications company Euro RSCG Worldwide. My next guest got a proven track record of spotting some trends. She's one of the first people to popularize the concept of metrosexuals. I'm talking today with Marion Salzman, who is CEO of Havas PR. World renowned trend spotter Marion Salzman, CEO trend spotter of Havas PR, joins us with some predictions. Let's talk about wedding watch. Who are we watching on the yeah, wedding Yeah, the scene? two big scoundrels are going to have us on absolute high alert. I think you can absolutely follow the New York Post right now for Elliot Spitzer watch. And I think Prince Harry has. Um, much of the world watching him fondly, I suppose. Joining us this morning is Marion Salzman. She's an expert trend spotter with some ideas on social and media trends that are going to be taking shape over the next year. Local is the new global. We're going to all really invest in our communities. It's going to start with social causes. She says the past 30 years have not only brought us advances in phones, computers, and other technology, but also in science. Retailers no longer need to be apologetic about the fact we're always connected. We're really in the age now of so me, and I think it's so important that that's the way the word plays out. The social part is the given. We're going to be completely connected, tied in. It's not going to be paid anymore. It's going to be persuaded. So the big word for this year is co, or it's the sound of the year, I'm going to say. Um, the idea that we want to be collaborative. We want to be part of a collective. We want to uh, be co-conspirators and things. At 3.30 this afternoon, publicist and trend spotter Marion Saltzman spots a tweet from Bloomingdale. What will the world look like 10 years from now? It's so hard to predict. The number one lesson probably is don't get very specific. By feeling obliged to go very specific, you start to run the risk of it's not really a prediction. You're trying to be very directional. A new study has discovered that a key market demographic, teenage girls, is still driving profit. They're pretty much recession proof. If they gave up luxury items, they didn't give up consuming, they didn't give up shopping. It's graduation time, and once again, we say stand back all bosses. A new breed of American worker is attacking everything you hold sacred. Just ask Marion Saltzman, an ad agency executive who's been managing and tracking millennials since they entered the workforce. Some of them are the greatest generation. They're more hardworking. They have these tools to get things done. They're enormously clever and resourceful. Some of the others are absolutely incorrigible. A millennial looking for a job got a verbal smackdown from a Cleveland woman who runs an online job bank. Let me bring in Marion Salzman. She's an expert on marketing. Is the bad rap really warranted? No, I, I actually don't think so. They are the greatest generation in terms of great ideas, great aptitudes. They're always on, they're always connected. They're completely of the news and of the world. It's a brave new world. We've got to welcome them in.